Hello, Shadrach and Nadia here with your daily news report. Thank you for tuning in to CDN. Health authorities plan to decrease the use of smoking by the end of the year. Deaths in China have increased by 3 million due to tobacco-related diseases. It turns out that the World Health Organization was right with their estimate back in 2015 of 3 million people dying due to cigarettes and other tobacco-related items. They estimated that over a million deaths happened from smoking every year, and as we can see in the present day, they were correct. Are more deaths going to happen? Is China coming to an end? What are the health authorities doing to keep the deaths from increasing? As of next Monday, a new ban on smoking indoors will spread across all of China. Lighting up will now be prohibited in all offices, shopping malls, restaurants, bars, and airports. Many outdoor public places, such as the areas outside kindergartens and hospitals, will also be required to be smoke-free. This is not the first time China has tried to attack its smoking problem. A previous ban launched in 2008 was wildly ignored. A harsh penalty will be given to those who float the law. Businesses and institutions could face fines up to 10,000 yuan, $1,600 in American money, and repeat offenders could have their license revoked. Individuals who surpass the law must pay 200 yuan, which is $32 in American money. Anyone who breaks the law three times will find themselves named and shamed on a government website. The banishment was set in place to decrease the probability of getting these tobacco-related diseases. 45% of men smoke daily in China and 2.1% of women smoke daily as well. 43% of the world's tobacco is produced by China, which makes it even harder for the banishment to have an effect on the country. One third of the cigarettes worldwide are produced by China Natural Tobacco Corporation. The banishment of smoking will provide a better future for the kids of China, due to the research WHO has done. The statistics for eight kids ages 5 and 6 is 1 out of 5, which will hopefully decline with this new removal. That is all for today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Shadow Contreras. And I'm Nadia. See ya.